This is the built-in Ansel assembly workbench. Here's a quick tutorial. In Ansel, select the assembly workbench. Then click the Create Assembly button. Now select the Insert Link button. Choose 3D models to assemble here. Select the files you want. You can also choose to insert them as a part. But this model already has a body. Click on the model, but save this document first. Click again to place the model. Click once and place another one. Left mouse button does not move models now. Right click and select the Tinkercad navigation. Now you can move the models more easily. Scroll wheel pans and right click rotates. Most buttons are still grayed out. Here you can select the inserted models. Right click here to see if it's activated. Don't forget to click OK before you move on. Then select one model and ground it. Now the other buttons will become available. Select these two holes while holding control. Then create a slider joint. You can fix an angle between the models. Now you can only move it along the hole. Open joints to see all constraints. Double-click one to change parameters. Select the slider and delete it. Select the holes again. And create a cylindrical joint. Click OK. Now you can move, but also rotate it. Now select these two faces. And create a distance joint. Enter a distance and click OK. Now it can only rotate. Select both joints and delete them. You can now move the model freely again. Select the holes again. And create a revel at joint. Enter an offset and click OK. It's the same as the previous two joints. Double-click the joint to change parameters. Now the model moves on the other side. You can also change the model directly. Activate the assembly. Double click here to go back to the assembly. Both equal parts have been changed. This workbench will also come to FreeCAD.
Also check out my other channel for all my 3D printing projects and tutorials. And have a look at my website where everything comes together. Thanks for watching. Also check out my other videos and channels.